Hi guys, welcome to Francis Ford Coppola Winery. We're here at Rustic Francis's Favorites. Let's go check it out. So this is our Prigio, which is our Argentinian grill. It's sort of the landmark of Rustic Francis's Favorites. You know what, let me actually go see if our chef's here. Hold on one second. Hey chef, can you show us the Prigio? Sure. So this is Chef Tim Bodell, our chef here at Rustic Francis's Favorites. Yeah. Hey, Chef. Hi, Lillian. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? So will you tell us a little bit more about the Parisia? Absolutely. So this is an Argentinian Parisia, uh, all the way from Argentina. Um, it is the real centerpiece of our dining room here uh, and, a, and a real workhorse of the restaurant itself. It has uh, a couple of really cool design features, which translate to unbelievable vegetables and meat uh, that are cooked on the grill. The grapes themselves are a really interesting design. It minimizes the flare-ups. So what we use to cook our, our, our strip loin, our New York steaks, our salmon, which is an incredibly popular dish here. So it's a real beautiful uh, piece of uh, machinery here, and we have a lot of fun with it, and it makes just excellent food. What was the inspiration? Why do we have a Parisia? Because they're really unique, right, for yes. even the United States. The, the whole idea behind the restaurant is to focus and showcase these things that Mr. Coppola loves. Uh, uh, you'll see our, me uh, our menu just peppered with all of Francis's favorite dishes. And this piece of equipment, uh, I think Francis loved from his time in Argentina when he was doing a movie shoot. He's uh, got inspiration from different things. And this is why we have this in the restaurant. One of my favorite things I think about the Parisia is that so much of the cooking in the kitchen goes behind the scenes. All of our chefs are behind, and my favorite place on the property sometimes is being in the kitchen just to watch you guys craft incredible food. But I think that the fact that we have this in the restaurant and guests can see firsthand you guys cooking in our Asador at the grill, yeah. it, it's just incredible to see. It's truly, they pull it off the grill and it goes right to your table. So we have a culinary garden here on property. Tell me about how you're using that in the kitchen. Well, the culinary garden is something uh, very near and dear to me. Um, many years ago, I emailed Mr. Coppola and asked if it was okay if we took out some old vines, infidel vines, and planted this culinary garden. And he replied right away, let's do it. So here we are, maybe five, six years later. Um, it's, a, it's a place where I draw tons of inspiration. Um, it's where the, the Atavala menu, the Atavala is the dinner that we do on Tuesday nights. It's where the Atavala menu really begins every week. Um, we go out there and the garden really tells us what to cook that week, as well as our on-staff culinary gardener, Pat McKenna. So him and I work very, very closely um, on what to plant, how much to plant, where to, and when to plant it. Um, so we make sure uh, to use everything out in that garden root to top. That's, you know, that's so important, I think, is to use what we have here in Sonoma County. It's so bountiful, it's so unique. Mm -hmm. You talk about young people, how'd you get started? Good question. My earliest memories of cooking were with my mom in the kitchen at flipping pancakes. <laughs> and I think there's a picture out there actually to prove it with the floppy chef You're going to find that picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's, my mom instilled in me a love of cooking and it's really stuck with me my whole life. It's, you know, I had two other very small short-lived jobs in, in my, you know, early teens. Other than that, I've always worked in restaurant, uh, restaurants my entire life. It's, it's where I feel most at home and that's where I feel most comfortable and I, and I just love to do it. So now we're in the kitchen with Chef and he's going to show us how to make a pizza. Today I think we should make a margarita pizza. Which I'm down. Is, I've is never made classic. pizza before so I'm a little nervous. Yeah. You're, but I'll, I'm game. Stay tuned tomorrow to meet our gardener, Pat, and get a look at our culinary garden. 